A Wonderful Night in April, presented by Science at NASA. As winter turns to spring in the Northern Hemisphere, the nights are becoming shorter and much cozier. Rising temperatures make shirt sleeve astronomy possible again. If you must choose one night to spend under the beckoning stars this month, make it April 21st. It should be a wonderful night, says Bill Cook of NASA's Meteoroid Environment Office. The annual Lyrid meteor shower will peak under the dark skies of a new moon. Conditions should be ideal for meteor watching. Lyrid meteors come from Comet Thatcher. Every year in late April, Earth passes through a stream of debris from the old comet, which has been bringing Lyrid meteors to our planet for at least 2,600 years. Specks of Thatcher's dust hit the top of the atmosphere at 110,000 miles per hour and disintegrate in a slow flurry of meteors. Typical lyrids are about as bright as the stars of the Big Dipper, says Cook, so they're good for beginners. And it's not unusual to see one or two fireballs when the shower peaks. Most years, the shower maxes out at 15 or 20 meteors per hour. Occasionally, however, rates increase sharply when Earth glides through an unusually dense clump of debris. In 1982, for instance, astronomers counted as many as 90 lyrids per hour. An even more impressive outburst was documented in 1803 by a journalist in Virginia. The outburst alarmed many and astonished every person that beheld it. From one until three in the morning, those starry meteors seemed to fall from every point in the heavens, in such numbers as to resemble a shower of skyrockets. A good time to look for lyrids is during the hours after midnight, when the shower's radiant is rising toward its zenith. Coincidentally, this year's shower peaks during the same week that Saturn is having a close encounter with Earth. If you begin your meteor watch around midnight, you'll see the ringed planet shining almost directly overhead, about two times brighter than a first magnitude star. Got a telescope? Now would be a great time to use it. Even small department store models at low magnification provide a nice view of Saturn's rings. NASA's Cassini spacecraft is orbiting Saturn now studying the planet's strange moons and snapping breathtaking photos of the ringed plane. No telescope on Earth can match Cassini's proximity to the ringed planet, but many observers say the view from your own backyard is uniquely satisfying. And there's more. When you're finished looking at Saturn, you can turn your optics towards Mars. The red planet is also up at midnight on April 21st, and it's even brighter than Saturn. Backyard telescopes reveal a tiny burnt orange globe with a white cap of polar ice reflecting enough sunlight to see 81 million miles away. NASA's newest rover Curiosity is en route to Mars now, on a mission to hunt for signs of ancient life. You can tell your friends, you saw Mars even before Curiosity did. April 21st has a lot to offer. For more news about wonders in the night sky, visit science.nasa.gov.